my name is Ashton Gleckman. I'm a film composer and also the composer on the new film from Project Witness and Big Productions, Hidden. Welcome to this little behind the scenes featurette. So what is the job of a film composer? So in my personal opinion, I think the job of a film is to immerse the viewer in a world and to expose them to new ideas or emotions. So whether it's the production designer, whether it's the screenplay writer, whether it's the composer, the director, the actor, or the guy getting coffee on set, you're all there because you want to tell this story. And in the case of Hidden, it's this very intimate, strong, emotional film about how far parents would go to, to protect their children. You know, in one of the darkest times in history where nine out of ten Jewish children in Europe were killed um, simply because of the fact that they were Jewish. It just goes to show that even in the darkest of times there's always this uh, this glimpse of hope and uh, you know the fact that there were people that actually took these children and were risking their own lives and the lives of their family in order to protect these children it's something very admirable and very um, honorable. And so the job of me, the composer, is after the film has been edited I come in and I pretty much will translate um, what's going on on film into sort of a musical voice. You want to be there not to show off or not to be in people's faces, but you want to be there to help tell the story and help deliver the message. So since this is a very highly emotional film, what I found was really, really important in the process of writing the score is to take a break from all the technology and to head over to the piano, which is a very sort of organic instrument, and uh, it, it's very different from playing with technology, and it's very uh, sort of natural. I've always been a big music lover, and my dad has always been a big music lover as well growing up, and he's sort of the person that exposed me to the world of music. Um, and so when I was seven years old, I made the decision that I wanted wanted to play the guitar. So for Christmas, my parents got me a sort of cheap little guitar kit, had a little amplifier, a guitar, um, some extra strings, and that sort of got me going. I started guitar lessons, and I started to play in bands until I was in the movie theater for the film The Imitation Game, uh, which was a film starring Benedict Cumberbatch, and it had a beautiful, beautiful score by Alexandre Desplat. And uh, there was something about the experience of, of feeling the score and really understanding what the music was doing to really push forward the emotions of, of the film. Film music for me was so, um, had such an impact on me because I'd really never seen anything like it before. The fact that you could use any instruments or, or really do whatever you want, it was completely up to you. It was almost like a sandbox game. You completely build the world from the ground up. And that, that level of creativity that it allowed you to have um, was really amazing. And that's what sort of set me off to become a film composer. When we were actually composing the score for it, I think the main thing that we wanted was this very sort of sad emotional piece that we ended up using a few times in the film. And uh, it um, goes a little something like this. I've known Guy Orman for a while. He's one of the directors of the film Hidden, and uh, he was also the director of the film Once Upon a Family, which I actually composed the score for a couple years ago, uh, which was another World War II documentary film. But he's an insanely talented guy. He has an amazing vision for what he wants the project to become, and he's very involved in helping to deliver the message of what he really wants from the music. Um, a lot of the times when you have music sent back to you, uh, and you know somebody didn't like it. Normally it's not because of the quality of the music. Normally it's because of what the music is really telling the viewer, right? Um, you know, you could have a piece of music that's really, really well produced and sounds great, but isn't exactly right for the film. So in the case of Hidden, the score was written in three and a half weeks, uh, and there was around an hour and five minutes of music in the documentary itself. When you have three and a half weeks to write over an hour of music, sometimes it gets a little bit grueling. Uh, but I think really what, what keeps me going is, first of all, organization. So having a cue sheet that's really well organized, being able to say, I'm gonna write three minutes music today, three minutes music tomorrow, I'm gonna score this cue, this cue here. And having that, that larger plan is very, very helpful. In in, um, developing a nice workflow. I think the film itself is very, very inspiring, and just the 
the attention to detail that he did uh, with you know the historical reenactments, but also the amazing, amazing stories that um, you know the actual people who were actually there, um, you know, were being interviewed, and just hearing those stories um, inspired me and uh, really set me on the journey for writing the music. It was just such an amazing story, and the music came very, very natural to the whole entire thing. For this score, I felt that the film needed a very emotional um, color that samples or technology couldn't really push forward. So I figured I needed to have a solo instrumentalist in some sort to help to um, deliver the emotion of the story. So in this score, I worked with a violin player named Nathalie Bonin, who is actually from Montreal, Canada. And I'm, of course, from Indianapolis, Indiana, so it was a long distance thing. But um, pretty much there were a few cues that were improvised, so I would send her the piece of music and she'd just play. And But there were other times where I would write the score and then I would send it to her and she'd send me back uh, the files and then I'd dub them in. And uh, yeah, so working with a solo violin player um, was, I think, vital in helping to deliver the emotion of the story. I think music has this unbelievable um, ability to work extremely well with film and helping to, to tell stories. And I think that it's this amazing thing because it's this universal language that everyone knows and can feel, but we really don't understand. And it's that, it's that beauty in music, I think, that works so well with film. And for me personally, and I think for most everyone working in film, it's always a delight to work on a film that's very emotional and is very meaningful and, and tells a story that I think should be told. And Hidden is the story of bravery, it's the story of survival, it's the story of um, trying to survive under the most unbelievably awful circumstances. And I think that being a part of telling a larger audience that story was an amazing opportunity for me and it's something that I'm truly grateful for. So thanks for joining me in this small little featurette and I hope you guys enjoyed the score. It'll be coming out on September 8th, which is a Friday. It's coming out on digital, on iTunes, Spotify, and Amazon, and it'll also be available on a hard copy as well. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later.